Hi there, I'm Ben, welcome to part 9 of my full platinum walkthrough for A Plague Tale Innocence. We're doing chapter 9, it's In the Shadows of Ramparts. Uh, this is quite an action-packed uh, chapter, really. We're going to be doing lots of killing and things like that. But right at the start here, what you want to do is look behind this tree trunk, or next to this tree trunk. Look for Hub Hugo's Herbarium number 6. This is Lavender, this will get you the trophy herbalist. So if you're all up to, up to date with what you have, you should have... The herbalist trophy at this point uh, we're going to be getting quite a few trophies as well this time uh, you should get the alchemist trophy for crafting 100 ammunition don't worry if you don't um but you should sort of stay on top of crafting like i do and if you do you will get it towards the end of this uh, chapter and then we've also got a chapter specific trophy which is right at the end it's literally right at the end as we leave the chapter uh, we're going to be taking a different way than the normal way out of the chapter, and that's going to give you a, uh, a trophy. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to have sort of a teamed up chapter, but we're actually not. Uh, Melly, 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 yeah, Melly <laughs> is going to open this door, and then uh, we're going to part ways. And it's just us and Amicia this time. And, uh, yeah, lots of combat, lots of crafting, uh, a new type of ammunition is going to be coming up, um, Odorous. Which is uh, there's going to be a new common material that's going to, you're going to see that's going to be new uh, available all, everywhere pretty much. Come on, open this door. Let's get going. There we go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to be in a town, so there's lots of stealth and and kill it. Don't kill these guys. Just ignore these ones. Uh, before leaving, we're going to go left. Leave. Before we do that, we're going to go up the stairs and just grab some basic materials uh, and what you'll see me doing is if I get to red like these two got some sulfur and some alcohol um, some saltpeter that I can't pick up I'm going to craft um, ammunition so I can pick them up and you want to keep on top of that and doing that don't overcraft. don't go crafting for three four five don't do that just do one or two so you can pick up the uh, the materials that are there take a look at what the the materials are, how many actually go down because you'll get two so say for example something only takes one sulfur uh, you can craft two of that uh, to pick up the sulfur because you're going to get two in return but also don't go too low on the the opposite material as well but you do want to keep on top of it and that's going to help get you the alchemist trophy as well because you will be crafting a lot uh, these guys here just ignore them go to the left instead I'm going to be going downstairs, so you have to wait a moment because they are going to path to the left. So just wait here, that was a lucky camera angle. And then underneath the stairs there's going to be a chest, you're going to see me pick up cord, for, uh, yeah it's uh, fabric first. So this chest here, you're going to see me pick it up, you can't see the cord, fabric and then there's alcohol there, you can't see it. Uh, but I do remember that there is actually cord in there. I'll go back to it in a second. I'm just going to craft something here to pick this saltpeter up, which will be Deverantis. And I do remember that, yeah, it's tucked away, so don't forget the cord. Because <laughs> um, we are going to be doing two upgrades as well. We will be getting the upgrade that will allow us to craft on the fly, which is a lot more helpful. Because uh, whenever you're kind of full, if you see a rare item and you can't pick that up, you see, you can see whether you're able to actually craft anything while you're on the go, and uh, yes, yeah, so you're not wasting anything, not missing any. Uh, I won't be using that to start with, just in case you're not able to get the upgrade for whatever reason. I will still be upgrading at crafting tables for now, because we're not in a rush. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to use it, but I will use it uh, to help get the trophies later on. I'll craft something, then go back on uh, restart chapter. Uh, not restart chapter, restart checkpoint, and then um, be able to carry on and uh, do the opposite one. So we don't spread ourselves too thin with the materials, although there are more than enough, but we just want to make sure that you get the, the trophies. So yeah, you can see there's lots. There's going to be uh, quite a few instances now where there's combat, so obviously you're going to take the helmet off and then hit them in the head. You're going to be using a new thing later on, we're going to get it shortly, Odorous, which attracts rats to wherever you throw it, which is, <laughs> you can imagine what we're going to be using that for. Get some leather here, and then uh, behind in the cart is some fabric. Yep, fabric. 
and then uh, look for the torch on the right hand side and get that in a moment but first you're going to take care of these two uh, only one of them has a helmet this front one here and again if you have sort of two enemies uh, in front of you that have helmets on or don't one that doesn't go for the one with the helmet on then go for the one that doesn't and then go for the one that is taking his helmet off sort of spread them evenly evenly so uh they're not got not just got one rushing at you while you're taking care of one because it, it does stun them and i think at this point i can kind of uh leave it for a moment there's not much in the way that i need to sort of alert you to so just keep uh, pushing forward, uh, doing what I'm doing, picking up materials, make sure you get everything that I do so we're kind of up uh, together uh, with what we have. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back shortly when there's uh, more interesting stuff happening. <laughs> things you saw what they do to people we have to leave if the inquisition takes us <laughs> right. he's everywhere like this Alive. Put and keep quiet. What's going on? No, he's my husband. He was your husband. It's all over for him now. So get... this room's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna just jump in here because there is a collectible of curiosity coming up. Uh, so you're gonna hit this down, and as soon as you do that, duck back down because this guy's gonna come in. Uh, he has a torch on him. Uh, wait till he gets a bit further into the room. It's it's okay if you do get him in the entrance, but we need to get where he is behind him, basically. So don't worry, but you can walk around these rats. Obviously, stick to the edges. Uh, don't go walking into them. Uh, and you can use the left-hand side to jump over the kind of little fence bit here. Uh, so, yeah, don't worry if he is blocking the side, but we need to get to this chest. Uh, grab the curiosity which is the sheep leather and then get some or sheep skin and then grab the uh, the leather as well and then we're going to go upstairs and there's going to be uh, two fabric and then once we get outside of here uh, there's going to be I don't actually know what it is it's grim <laughs> uh, so is that bed on the left hand side to be honest if you have a look at what's actually in there and uh, do the triangle thing, it's really quite grim. Um, yeah, as we go outside here, there's going to be kind of a structure. I don't know what this structure would be outside of this situation. I'm not sure. Is it some sort of building that's not finished, I presume? Is that what we've got here? Anyway, you can see all the guys hanging from it, or probably women as well, to be honest. Um, there's two that you can hit down using the sling which is what I'm going to do, and then you're free to kind of crawl through there. And, uh, yeah, just don't go too close to the rats that are under there. Once they are attracted to a body, they're not going to bother you if unless you go really close to them. So there's one there, and then there's one to the left. Because it's kind of split into two. You're going to see when we go inside kind of what I mean about what actually is this. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> a prison? Some That's really horrible. Um, guy here just take his uh, his helmet off using uh, Deverantis hit him in the head uh, there is some cord at the top so make sure to grab that and then we're going to go around the opposite side and work our way through 
uh, and there's going to be some fabric or leather in a chest so make sure to grab that as well I made it. Oh, but I'll never forget this smell. The university! See? Keep going. The cemetery. It's on the way. I really don't want to go through that. The Inquisition must have put it here. Looks like it pivots. <laughs> Clever. The Grand Inquisitor doesn't do things by halves. Right, I'll just jump back in here. You can see we've got kind of a new lamp thing here. I don't think we've used these yet. I can't remember because I've used them so often now that I'm not actually sure when they get introduced. I think this is the first time, right? Is it? Yeah, let's say yes. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's telling us what to do. Yeah, but obviously you can cut, sort of farm the rats using the beams and that's what we will be doing later on. Uh, go in here, grab the leather, grab the tool. And then we've obviously got a bench here and we're going to do our first upgrade of this chapter which is going to be this bottom one here, which is going to allow us to upgrade on the fly. So make sure you do that one. You will have a lot of cord. I've got 18. I think we can carry 22 max at this time. So we're going to go for strings next because um, we don't want to run out of space with cord and have to miss any. Um, yeah, and that's what the next thing we want to do. We want to leave one upgrade for the slingshot, one upgrade for the equipment so we can kind of... Uh, mess around with the trophies a bit later on and also what this uh, these lamps do is allow you to remove light from a situation as well <laughs> which is there's absolutely no reason to do that as well <laughs> you can walk straight past this guy so let's see how you're feeling whether you do it or not there's no there's, there's no items there there's nothing so you can just hop through this window or you can uh, kill that guy it's on you <laughs> So yeah, what you can see there, it just kind of pushes them and uh, it sort of just blocks them away, which is really handy. Uh, as you jump through here, there's going to be a cutscene. I'm obviously going to skip it. Uh, it's going to teach you or show you Episanguis, uh, which is going to give you the new Odorous. So Episanguis there, which is uh, kind of crystallized. I'm taking it as crystallized dookie from the rats. That's what it is to me. <laughs> Grab the leather off the crate there. Uh, you won't actually get the recipe until you pick your first one up, which is down here. So you got to light this torch. Uh, 
and then you are free to drop down and you can pick it up. You're going to find it sort of randomly on these sort of black stuff that's all around the walls and stuff. So look out for it and that's going to allow you to craft odorous. So craft some of that which uh, uses sulfur as well. And um, yeah, just you can throw it using the slingshot or just normally throw it whichever. But wherever you throw it, all of the rats in the area are going to run to it for about five seconds. You don't have long, uh, so don't stand around, but uh, it allows you to, to get through places like this, for example. Where was this stuff earlier on? And it's going to show these as well. So we've got these alchemy upgrades up here. So I'm just going to show you here. I'm not going to do any. Uh, we don't need these for a trophy. So these alchemy ones, leave them. Um, I might do a couple later on if we sort of have the, the resources spare and they don't impact any of the other upgrades that we do. But they're not needed for a trophy, so don't worry about those two, uh, those those sets of uh, upgrades. They can come in handy. They do obviously help, but not needed. So at this point now, uh, we've got kind of a puzzle situation going on. Lots of rats everywhere. We need to get through to places and get a cart, uh, things like that. So just do as I do. There is going to be a collectible halfway through, kind of behind that gate that I just looked to on the right-hand side. But we're going to climb over a wall on the opposite side to get it. So uh, yeah, run for the light and then use it. I just saw that. I just remembered there is some uh, Episanguis in front. And uh, use the torches and the uh, the uh, odorous to farm the rats around so they're out of your way. Not at this point, but at the top here. You can see there's kind of one or two stragglers on the left-hand side here. Uh, they're okay. If there's one or two, they don't seem to bother you, so don't worry about it too much. But you're going to want to farm all of these and move them out of the way. Before I do that, I'm just going to go down here and grab this fabric. Again, you don't have long, so quickly run down. Grab what you need. Don't bother about the alcohol if you can't pick it up. Just leave it and get the hell out again. And uh, farm these two. Uh, drop down, get the collectible that I get. Uh, push the cart back around. And uh, that's pretty much it for this section. And I'll, uh, I'll join you later on. Now, the lantern, quickly! Yes! <gasps> oh, as if this place wasn't sinister enough. This can still roll. Mm. Mm. <sighs> mm. Oh, oh no! <sighs> that was very discreet. Right, now just a bit more. My god, what happened here? I'm getting closer. Your book better really exist, Lucas. <clears throat> oh lord, the sick, they've slaughtered them. <laughs> the 
rats. They've, they've unleashed the rats. Help me. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't believe it. They used the rats against the sick. Dirty little beasts. What have you got to say that's so important? Screeching the whole time. Odorous. Like I could try. They'll give you a reason. <laughs> It worked. Why? Because it's too late for you. Call it mercy. But don't worry. All the others will soon be saved. As you can see before that <laughs> with the poor guy that we just be did before. Uh Odoris just outright kills it's almost like a kill spell it's just <laughs> wherever you throw it and it's dark yeah it obviously has to be dark the, uh, the enemy can't be holding a light it doesn't work if he is uh we'll kill them so i'm gonna kill use this um use it to kill this guy now this is a new enemy type the the shield ones uh they can be hit from the back you can still take the helmet off and hit them in the head uh you can still do that but you want to actually attract the rats to him at this point uh, so we can cross the bridge and uh, yeah these are ba you're basically using the rats as a weapon now which is kind of cool really <laughs> and kind of gross at the same time uh, so yeah just carrying on with the uh, hopefully going to be getting the trophy soon um, with regards to uh, crafting alchemist if not don't worry you will do by the end of the game that's for sure we're only in uh, chapter 9 another 7 to go so we've got a couple of guys here, one that doesn't have a helmet on, that one that does. So take care of the guy with the one that does first. Hit him, quickly switch to the other one with the rock. Hit him in the face. And then move back to the other one who will just be uh, getting back to normal. Nice and easy. A couple of leather here, which is important because we're going to need to craft a Luminosa in a moment. Which is one of the uh, ammunition type that uses uh, leather. Because there is a cart coming up, another Inquisition cart. And usually when we do go to a cart, there is a leather inside of it. Uh, if we do need to use Luminosa, which is more often than not to get to these carts. So, chuck it in. And uh, just to the left-hand side there, there is some uh, Epis Sanguis, so grab that. And then inside the cart, again, there's no way of tracking it. Just go in, use the bench. I think I actually do an upgrade here as well. We do have another one ready. I think it is the, the slingshot one at the top. Yeah, so we're ready for that one. We could do the ammunition bag, but that also does use cord. But I want to get a big chunk of it. 15 of it uh, goes to the top one there. So we do need more here and a bit more there. Cord. I want to make sure we don't run out. Or are able to pick it all up as we see it. So yeah, that's that kind of uh, secret area off to the side there. Nope, not that way. <laughs> so we're going to be farming more rats here just to move them out of the way. There is weirdly nothing down here. You're supposed to attract one of the enemies and mess around with it all down there. It's obviously a lot easier the way we did it. <laughs> If you throw them all on that wall, uh, it can. You can sometimes at this point here, a few of them sort of can squeeze through. You can see there's one or two there. Uh, if there's more than one or two, do it again. Otherwise, they will try and get you. Uh, yeah, this is kind of grim. This one, well, this this guy's gonna start drinking this canal water in a minute. That's uh, that's not gonna go well for him, obviously. So I am full on the ammunition types as well. You will have noticed I'm, I'm getting pretty full on those as well. Yeah, he's... Oh dear. Uh, you can see at the top I'm getting Trophy uh, Alchemist next. Again, don't worry if you don't. You will get it either now or very, very shortly. Got lots of crafting to do yet. So here's a big open area with lots of enemies actually. So wait for these two. Wait for this one here to sort of stand... He can be closer, that does help, because you'll see he does try to run for it. Just make sure he's not off to the left-hand side there where the light is. And uh, hit this to drop the rats down. 
He will try and make a break for it. You should be okay with him uh, getting bitten there. If he does run for it, you can always restart chapter, uh, restart checkpoint. Don't restart chapter. Restart checkpoint and wait till they're together and get them both at once. And then uh, we're just going to walk around and uh, take these enemies out. We are right at the end here. We are right in front of where we need to go. It's that place there. So hit this guy's lamp. You have to do, hit his lamp first and then quickly switch over to Odorous and hit him with one of those. You're not going to see it, but he is going to get swarmed by rats. I know it happens. It all kind of warts off. And then there's a couple more this way. They both have helmets on just to take care of them the normal way. Don't bother with the rats, they do have light sources with them. We will get another ammunition type, short, uh, not shortly but later on, that uh, allows us to extinguish fire, which obviously that becomes very helpful. You can see there, Alchemist, I have crafted 100 ammunition at this point. Uh, you'll get it very shortly, or maybe even you've got, already got it. Who knows? But it will happen, don't worry. And then uh, take care of this one. Then there's going to be some cord leather and fabric in the in a chest where we got the guy with the shield. So that's him there on the floor. Be careful of the rats. They should be okay. Got one of each in here, which is nice. And then we're going to go and get the trophy. Uh, no, sorry, it's the the gift first, and then the trophy after that. Yes. So there's going to be two shield guys off to the left. It's going to show you. It's going to kind of pull the camera to that side. Uh, blocking the door. Now there is a side entrance that you can take which is down there where these two guys come from. We don't want to do that. For the trophy we actually want to go in through the front door. It specifically says go in through the front door. So that's what we're going to do. Meaning, meaning we have to take care of two of the shield guys. Not a problem. We'll use rats for the first one. But we just got to take care of these two to get to a collectible first. Go for the one with the helmet first. And then him. He's got no idea what's going on. <laughs> it becomes oddly satisfying taking care of enemies in this uh, this game when it shouldn't really considering what's going on pick up the chessboard just two more gifts left and then we're going to get the trophy the hard way which is for going in through the front door and then obviously in the shadow of ramparts for finishing the uh, chapter off so get a odorous ready and then you're going to want to walk to the left hand side here just so that the first one, the one on the left, sees you. There, don't go too far, you don't want both of them following you. Although you can if you want, it's just going to make it a bit more difficult. And then you're going to run back, they are quite slow these shield ones, so you've got plenty of time to run around. Another way of taking care of them, which I will show you with the second one, is kind of just run around that cart. What this guy can do is kind of stop at the top here and lose you. Which is a bit annoying. I'm right here. No. Okay. Again, he is slow, so don't worry about getting too close. You'll have plenty of time to run away from him. Uh, bring him down to where there isn't any light. And there are rats, obviously. Uh, you're going to see what he does as well. This first time he actually managed to do this with me. He's going to run away. I did it a bit early there. But as the rats kind of come towards him, he kind of runs away to a light source. Uh, not enough rats to get rid of him. So he is kind of covered in the stuff. So we're going to hit him again. We're going to wait for him to get a bit closer this time. And then hit him again. And then the rats are definitely getting him this time. <laughs> and then we're going to go this way around. Obviously it's safer. A couple of uh, materials here. And then we'll take care of the last one. Now ideally with this last one what you want to do is sneak up behind him, uh, take his helmet off and then hit him in the head. It doesn't go according to plan. Obviously it has a shield, you can't attack from the front because they'll just block it. Uh, I miss with the, the rock, the kill rock, <laughs> uh, which is just embarrassing really. But it does work out because it shows you how to kill them the other way, it's, which is just run around the cart. They lose you quite easily. So you'll need to use Deverantis first. You can get the retention using the pots as well. I don't really use pots. It's not really necessary. 
I don't know why what I was doing there. I, I have no idea. Don't ask. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll run around, try and lose him. If he doesn't have the kind of lines on his uh, his red marker, he doesn't know where you are, or he can't see you anyway. But then all of a sudden he sees me. He must have been pointing that way, but walks the wrong way anyway. <laughs> So you just want to get round the back of him and uh, not hit the horse. Yeah, that's it. Keep hiding. Won't do you no good. <laughs> there we go. And uh, yeah, just walk in through the front door and you'll get the Hardway Trophy and in the Shadow of Ramparts. Right, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.